The pork industry has evolved drastically in modern America. Gone are the days of pigs roaming free on spacious farms. Gone are the processing plants. Today's pork is bred to bring the meat to the consumer as quickly as possible. What we are doing is taking what nature has done and fixing it. Um, through genetics, we've been able to uh, make pigs larger, uh, produce more meat, be more docile, and uh, taste better. This is one of Dr. Scientist's genetic super pigs. His name is 3571. From time to time, when we have a problem, we'll bring somebody in with a bit more hands-on experience with animals. Francis here is a uh, former pig farmer. Boy, right here, he's a little thick. He's a little thick. 3571, he's a little thick. So we're gonna, we're gonna open him up and see what the problem is. Pigs like 3571 have been bred to maximize production of enjoyable breakfast materials. These genetic pigs will bring in up to three times the profit of natural pigs. Here we got a little piece of ham right there. And uh, then we got a... Uh, got to break through his bacon cage right now. And uh, there we go. He's got to break through his bacon cage. Oh, here's your problem. Ugh, he's got something wrong with his eggs. His eggs are runny. Yeah. Practices such as this are hotly protested by animal activists such as these two, Carl and Sunshine. Their organization frees animals from medical laboratories. These two have recently liberated one of Dr. Scientist's pigs, cute little 5786. We saved him from his death sentence from those fascist fucking farmers. Farmers are fucking fascists. I mean, what they don't even think about is that pigs are 10 times smarter than, than dogs are. I mean, would you treat a dog like that, man? I mean, look at him. This poor little guy's been through so much, he just sits there staring at the wall all day. He's depressed. <laughs> nope. They don't mind one way or the other. <laughs> See, they ain't got no brains. We figured out the gene for brains and uh, replaced it with Fruit Loops. See? Spoon and all. He does shit cinnamon buns, though, so that's pretty cool. Hey, do you want a shit cinnamon bun? Their excrement looks exactly like cinnamon rolls. Looks like. Today is a special day, because today is the day that we liberate 5786 into his natural habitat, his home. Okay, boy, you're free now. Go off with your family. I'm gonna miss you, boy. You taught me to love again. Just go. I can't watch this. Me neither. Let's just get out of here. <laughs>